good morning children how are you i hope you are fine and uh, in the last class uh, we discussed about uh, the traditional dresses of indian states mainly which states uh, the states which are located in eastern side and also northeastern sides of india like uh, that is sikkim like meghalaya arunachal pradesh mizoram manipur tripura nagaland these states we have discussed in the last class so before going to the discussion of traditional dresses of other states mainly that is southern south indian states uh, we have to recapitulate we have to take a look back what we discussed till now in the um, uh, in the different classes so let us see in the first class we discussed that uh, india is a land of colorful dresses so many types of traditional dresses each and every state has its uh, own identity according to its uh, traditional dresses and uh, <coughs> next we discussed about that is indian states their capitals there are 28 uh, states present and nine union territories present their administrative headquarters also we read then we discussed about different types of traditional dresses in different states we have started from the northern part of india and two indian territories ladakh that is uh, called their dresses are called as goncha tp and koskar and then jammu and kashmir feran kashmir shawl i told then that is haryana dhoti kurta pagri ghagra long shirt ornni etc then we discussed about punjab punjabi ghagra turban tehmat or tamba etc then that is himachal pradesh Uh, churidar pajamas with kurta overcoat turban these are for male members long kurtas ghagri salwar kameez cholis these are for female members next that is uttarakhand dhoti uttarakhand another name also i told uttaranchal dhoti kurta pajama ghagri cholis etc next that is rajasthan it is the hot uh, hot that is uh, hottest place in india because rajasthan means rajasthan desert present third desert present and uh, that's why here dresses are different uh, they take a look uh, that dhoti kurta paggar paggar means turban ghagra uh, kanchli kanchli means top top uh, the, the female members are wearing here that is called as kanchli in their local language next that is gujarat gujarat means kurta dhoti for male members चानिया चोली और घाघरा चोली एंड ओडनी फॉर फीमेल मेंबर्स नेक्स्ट उत्तर प्रदेश धोती लुंगी कुर्ता पैजामा साड़ी सलवार कमीज नेक्स्ट दैट इज मध्य प्रदेश धोती साफा साफा मीन्स टारबन लहंगा चोली बंधनी साड़ी एट्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट दैट इज बिहार धोती कुर्ता साड़ी दैट इज फॉर बिहार धोती कुर्ता फॉर दैट इज मेल मेंबर्स एंड साड़ी फॉर फीमेल मेंबर्स नेक्स्ट दैट इज धोती कुर्ता साड़ी फॉर ओडिशा आल्सो एंड नेक्स्ट वेस्ट बंगाल धोती कुर्ता पैजामा साड़ी नेक्स्ट दैट इज छत्तीसगढ़ साड़ी इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड बाय द लोकल नेम लुक द धोती कुर्ता फॉर मेल मेंबर्स नेक्स्ट दैट इज सिक्किम द ड्रेसेस आर टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया बिकॉज वी हैव एंटर्ड नाउ नॉर्दर्न and north eastern and eastern states of india that's why honju it is one type of blouse kho it is one type of gown belt and belt we know that uh, it is we are wearing on the west then uh, pangden apron loose trouser under the kho traditional hat etc in sikkim next that is meghalaya dhoti but unstitched turban jensen unstitched dakmanda blouse and lungi नेक्स्ट दैट इज आसाम धोती गामोसा एंड मेखेला चादर साड़ी एट्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट दैट इज अरुणाचल प्रदेश पेटी कोट और स्कार्ट फुल स्लीव्स जैकेट वेस्ट कोट लुंगी एट्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट दैट इज मणिपुर पागड़ी धोती जैकेट इनाफी इनाफी मीन्स इट इज वन टाइप ऑफ सॉल एंड स्कार्ट ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट क्लास मिजोराम लॉन्ग पीस ऑफ क्लोथ कोट टारबान पुरान एट्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट दैट इज नागालैंड सॉल लूंग पेंसू लूंग पेंसू मीन्स डार्क कलर क्लोथ विथ स्ट्राइफ दिस इज यू कैन सी डार्क कलर क्लोथ विथ स्ट्राइफ दैट्स वाई नेक्स्ट दैट इज रिकूटू गामछा फॉर त्रिपुरा इट इज वन टाइप ऑफ टावेल कुबाई टारबान रिनाई रिसा रिनाई मीन्स लॉन्ग पीस ऑफ क्लोथ रिसा मीन्स शॉर्ट साइज क्लोथ पेटी कोट एट्सेट्रा 
नेक्स्ट दैट इज महाराष्ट्र नाउ कम टू द टू डेज डिसकसन टू डेज नेम ऑफ द स्टेट्स एंड दैट ट्रेडिशनल ड्रेसेस फार्स्ट दैट इज महाराष्ट्र वेयर मुंबई इज लोकेटेड महाराष्ट्र हेयर दैट इज धोती विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इन दियर लोकल लैंग्वेज धोतर फेता एंड फॉर फीमेल मेम्बर्स चोली साड़ी साड़ी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड बाय द नेम नौवारी साड़ी दीज आर द ट्रेडिशनल ड्रेसेस नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट दैट इज फॉर तेलेंगाना and that is called as sherwani kurta pajama lungi for men sarees khara dupatta salwar kameez for women take a look their dresses for maharashtra again see what type of dresses they are wearing the way of wearing the sari also take a look it is totally different from other parts of india take a look this is also different now come to the next state that is andhra pradesh andhra pradesh their dresses take a look dhoti uh, kurta shirt lungi sari langa boni langa boni this one this kid is wearing this little child wearing this langa boni take a look their dresses is totally different next that is uh, the tamil nadu dhoti lungi shirt salwar kameez shawl sari etc dhoti lungi shirt these are for male members and salwar kameez shawl sari these are for female members take a look this kid is wearing what type of dress their dresses now come to the next that is karnataka the people of karnataka wearing dhoti shirt that means male members and female members sari take a look there maybe this person is wearing sherwani but their traditional dress that is what dhoti kurta dhoti here that is shirt that type of dress next that is kerala lungi Uh, lungi, lungi is also called by the local name that is kaili or uh, that is kalli mundu and also the dress this is the dress take a look this type of dresses are called as what mundum neriyathum this one kerala word mundum neriyathum and lungi which is called by the local name kaili or kalli mundu so we have maximum uh, states traditional dresses we have already discussed you have seen you have already seen that what type of colorful dresses the people of india are wearing so that means what we have great variety variety in culture variety in dress so this thing we have already seen in the next class we'll discuss about this thing that why the people of india in different parts of india different dresses are being used why are they wearing different type of dresses what is the reason for variation in dresses this cause this reason we have to find out why are they not wearing the same type of dresses that this thing we have to find out in the next class so that's all for today if you uh, want to know anything if you have any query if you have any question then ask me without any hesitation feel free to contact so that's all for today next day uh, i have told what we'll discuss that why are they wearing different type of dresses what are the causes this thing we have to discuss in the next class so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day